Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am about to share with you things that I picked up in Thailand while I was there on my trip because anywhere I go in the world, I have a huge habit and desire to go and shop the makeup that they use and go into the drugstores and see what different type of beauty shops they have. They had one called Beauty Buffet that was super, super cute. I think I love that one the most. And um, we went to this mall in uh, Koh Samoy, Carnival Mall, I think it was. And it's just like wall to wall cute makeup that I had never seen before. And I really wanted to just like come home with an armful of it, but I only had so much space in my suitcase. And we all know I really don't need more makeup. So I tried to pick and choose some interesting things and I thought I would sit down and get ready with you guys and try a bunch of it out, show you all of it and share a little bit about my trip. So let's dig on in. Okay. <laughs> I bought so much at this one shop that they ended up giving me a few things for free, which was super cool. I did not pay for this. This is a magic snail white body serum and it's whitening. It has the serum from the golden shell. I don't know. It's like snail secretion. What do you guys think? Are you like down with that? Like, would you use this? Are you into the snail secretion serum situation? Let's just put some of it on and see what it smells like. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh, oh, whoa. That is freaking weird. Uh. Mm. Snail slime all over me. <laughs> it's very sticky. Maybe this would be like part of the nighttime ritual because honestly, that is the weirdest crap I've ever seen in my life. What did I just put on my body? In the name of being beautiful. I also have something called donkey milk. The Miraculously Amazing Benefit of Donkey Milk from Switzerland. This is an innovative whitening property. It helps to pull essential nutrients deeper in the skin. Okay, now this one, the gal in the shop was really hot on this product. Like she kept taking my arm and putting this on me and she was like, it's the best. And she kept telling me to feel my skin. I'm like, shoot, you're right. Like that is super soft. So this one I actually am kind of into. No, I mean, can you imagine someone's like, what's your secret? And you're like, donkey milk is my secret to success with my skin. Leave it in the comments below. What is the weirdest like skincare or a beauty treatment? Like, have you ever tried anything really strange and out there? I want to know. Am I ever even gonna get ready? We're not sure. Let's just put a little donkey milk on. It is kind of a serum. I'm actually gonna put a little bit on my face because it does magically make your skin so incredibly soft. Donkey milk, snail juice, we're getting there. I have these right here. I'm gonna have to play with this later. This is the Silk Cocoon Facial Scrub and this was a best seller. So you put your finger in these Silk Cocoons. Yeah, it says put one Silk Cocoon on a finger, emulsify with water, and then you wash your face with these. I don't know. I'm gonna try it out. We have a Thailand exclusive sheet masks. Super cute. You guys know I love a good sheet mask. Oh, I got foot detoxifiers. So this is the Golden Princess Foot Patch. How many of you guys have tried a foot patch? Do you believe in these? It's supposed to pull toxins out of your feet. I don't know. I, I'm gonna try it. Why not, you know? Okay, more snail white. Snail white masks. I got these cool warming masks to wear on the plane. Asked me if I wore them on the plane. I didn't, I don't know why I didn't. I didn't, but I have them. We're about to get to the makeup. This is like the cute bag from Beauty Market. There's more. <laughs> oh God, you guys, I just, I did that. Oh my gosh, I'm suddenly realizing why James was like, you have too much stuff, you've gone crazy, like stop. And I'd be like, I've only gotten a few items. Like everywhere we went, cause I'd buy like a couple items <laughs> from each place. So I was able to scoop up a bunch of really cool foundations. First off, I think I'm gonna do a separate video on this one right here. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I think this is the one that everybody says is a dupe for the Fenty Foundation. I have never seen this here in the States, so I was really, really excited when I spotted this. And I have to say, I was already using this. I tried not to use a lot on the spot. I wanted to save it for a video. This is the Catrice 24 Hour Made to Stay Makeup, and this is such a good foundation. Foundation. Oh my gosh, if you guys are looking for a long wearing foundation that is full full coverage that is not heavy or sticky That is just a very natural balanced finish. This is really good 
great glass jar. It comes in a pump. I like it so much. And if you spy this somewhere, grab it. It's really, really good. This is called the BB Whip. They have so many cool like BB creams and cushion foundations. And I don't know, just everything felt like new and different. And I feel like I understand makeup so well. Like any Sephora I go into, I feel like I could work there and be like pointing everybody in the right direction and I know most lines through and through, but these were just like brand new to me. Okay, that's a little light for where I'm at right now, but this is just like a very moussey texture and they had testers in the shops and I was like, this is really, really nice. It has a fun kind of foamy feel to it. So once I lighten up a little bit, I will definitely put this to the test. This is all very drugstore priced by the way as well. I got this Pores Gone Instantly Covers Pores Liquid Foundation. I think this might match me. Ooh, that's a weird, ooh thing. Does that match better? That matches a little bit better. One of the days I tried out a cushion foundation and I was getting ready super fast and I looked crazy because it was matching my arms and my tan, but it was like super, super orange. So my whole family was like, what did you put on your face? And I was like, stop it. I'm just trying new makeup. Leave me alone. Okay. This right here is called the perfect fit liquid foundation. I'm just kind of feeling texture. I don't know what I'm gonna put everywhere. We're gonna figure that out together. That is super sheer. I wanna show you just to show you what this Catrice one is like capable of. You take the tiniest bit and it just like covers like crazy, but it is not overwhelming or too dry or anything like that, which I really, really like. Oh, I have another cushion right here. This is called the Maya Air Cushion. This is Mistine, which is a big brand over in Thailand. You see it everywhere. And everyone was recommending that I try this out. So I grabbed as much as I could from the range. Let's see. Oh, this is weird. I feel like I'm opening a can of soup. Yeah, that's gonna be too light for me right now. A lot of these, I'm gonna have to kind of wait until my tan kind of cools down and then play with them some more. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to start out by using this Buy Two Pores stamp. Shockingly, I did not pick up a primer. So I'm just gonna use, oh wait, no, I did. I got this in Sephora actually. This is called the Makeup Prep Essence and it's called In Between. I saw this and I was like, okay, this is a Sephora product that I've never seen before, so why not pick it up? It's a little bit sticky. It doesn't really minimize your pores at all, but you know, for the sake of this video, let's just kind of try it out. So I'm just going to apply this kind of how I would my Guerlain that's very liquidy. Just kind of press it in and push upward. I don't know that I wanna use like this thing. So I think I'm gonna take an artiste brush and we'll just blend it on that way. Yeah, that's pretty nice, right? Pretty surprising how that gives really decent coverage, even though it's just technically a BB cream. So this worked out really nicely actually. And I do feel like it did give a smoothing effect to my skin. So that's super cool. I'm gonna pop on a concealer really quickly. We're just gonna go with a little Maybelline Age Rewind and just pop that right here. I kind of want to try this out right here. This is the 24 hour cover all translucent powder. It's full coverage and it says it's going to control oil. It's translucent though. So it's like, how are you full coverage? If you are translucent, I am super curious. So let's see if we can bake with this and find out what happens. This is actually super nice. It's very, very, very finely milled. It definitely does have some coverage to it. It's not clinging from what I can see. This feels like a higher end powder and this is kind of blowing my mind right now. While we bake is the perfect opportunity to throw on some brows. This is the Mistine 3D Brows Secret Brow Set. So this has a few different things going on in it. You have your brow gel back here, which looks kind of intimidating and really, really dark. You have your brow shadow, that's interesting. And then you have the pencil. So you have three different elements to this guy right here what you don't get is a spoolie so i'm gonna grab my dior pencil and just kind of brush my brow hairs up we're gonna go in and just see what we can get done with this 
I have to tell you guys, Thailand was one of the best places I have ever been. The people there are incredible. It was so beautiful and spiritual and I was able to take such a deep exhale and just kind of like let everything go and it was really, really good. And we went to uh, an elephant sanctuary, which I posted about on Instagram. I'll put a couple photos up right here, which if you are gonna go to Thailand, I would encourage you guys to do research and do your job to take part in ethical tourism because you can go and see elephants and tigers and the animals, and sometimes they're not treated that great and you don't see that up front. It's a lot of behind the scenes, so do your research. You know, the elephants that we saw, we got to feed them, but we didn't ride them, we didn't bathe them. They're allowed to be elephants and roam free and they don't have to work and they don't have to be stressed out and they just kind of get to do their natural thing. Um, but it was still a very special experience to get so up close with them. I will never ever forget it and I really already want to go back. On one of the days, we went and we took a boat out to the islands. I think that was my favorite day. Everywhere you looked, it felt like a movie. It did not even feel real. We went to see the monkeys on Monkey Island, which was so crazy. One of them actually climbed up on Taylor at one point. Um, and the beaches were just so beautiful. Am I like losing my mind right now? Or is this makeup like super impressive and good? Okay, Thailand, like you are killing it with all of your cool makeup. So I am now gonna set the brow situation with a little bit of the powder. We'll just kind of fill in some of the sparser areas, which is basically all of it. <laughs> and then we will set it with the gel. I really like this. This is gonna stay top shelf. Like you are, you're, you are good. Wow. Time to sweep off the bake and get back to the face. Let's see how this dusts off. Holy cow. So good. The other thing that I spotted was they have different Maybelline items. So I got a blush from Maybelline that I wanna try out. I don't know why I think it's cool that you see different things from like the brands you know and love here in the States in other countries, but we're still gonna have fun with it. So this is the shade, I don't know, because it's in another language. It's a beautiful pink kind of shimmery shade. Okay, we're just gonna go. You know what I don't think I got? I don't think I got a single highlighter. I don't know if that's like a big thing. You see a lot of skincare, you see a lot of cushion foundations, you see a lot of just foundations and powders, um, but not a lot of shine. Something that I did notice that was really interesting, and this isn't Thai makeup, this is um, Japanese makeup, and the way it's marketed was really interesting. So this is contour powder, but it's called nose shader. Like that's what the display said, and I was like, oh, I want some nose shader, like hook it up. So we're gonna try to shade our nose with this, and actually the tone of it looks really, really nice. Wow. It is shockingly good. Okay, I'm gonna dip into a highlighter that I am super, I don't know why I really didn't play with this much. I just started to because I know that Jeffrey just released the single sarcophagus, which isn't that a coffin? I don't know, like I looked that up and I was like, what is a sarcophagus? James was like, it's a dead person. And I'm like, no, it's a place to put a dead person. And I'm like, oh, highlight for all of eternity. We're gonna go in with a little casket highlight Look at that, you guys, like stop it. It is so bright that it just almost makes my face look wet and I'm kind of into that right now. And then I'm gonna go next door into King Tut and kind of just mix that in on the shoulders. And then the other weird thing that I do with like my shoulder highlight, I don't know why, but I've just been doing this. I actually will then take my hand and make sure that everything is like smoothed out. And everybody asks me, they're like, how'd you get your skin to glow like that? And they don't believe that it's just powder highlight because if you really like rub it in, it doesn't look so shimmery, just like straight on in person. It just kind of makes you really glow whenever you move around in real life. So something I saw that was super cool that I just could not resist because I wanted to display this. this this is from L'Oreal. It's a different collection than what we have here in the States. And I honestly just bought this for the packaging, you guys. I could not help myself. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. It's gonna make a home right back there. It's not necessarily like metallic. It's just like a golden kind of a thing. I like it. I saw it and I was just like, you're coming home with me. I love you. You're beautiful. What beautiful packaging. For the drugstore too, you know? I also found a different color of the Pillow Plump from Soap and Glory. I've never seen this one here in the States. It's Cherry Up. I usually wear 
Koi Toy, I think, and I had never seen this one, so I grabbed that. Um, I also got, let's try this one. This is the Peachy Kiss, and this is from Za, Z-A. Nice bright pink packaging. And, oh wow, that is actually super, super bright pink. Maybe not. Clearly I did not swatch that or test that. Let's go into this guy right here. Ooh, that's more my speed. Yes, that is a Tati color. I can do with that. I do need to line my lips just a teensy weensy bit. We're gonna go in with a little bit of Magnetic Mauve from Maybelline. I don't know why I feel like telling you guys all my weird makeup things. I always hold my arm up for some reason whenever I'm doing like really steady lip lining or something. I always find myself like kind of like I put my arm up. I can't like let it just be down. I have to have my arm up. I don't know why. And then I catch myself doing it and I'm like, what are you doing? Stop that. Now we're going in with a vibrant, moist, ew, I hate that word, lipstick in B222. Ooh, that is beautiful. Okay, that's really, really pretty. I like you. Now we have to get to the eyes and I have been so excited to get into these eye products. You guys, these macaroon eyeshadows. This is called literally macaroon eyeshadow and it's from the Bakery Collection. These are cute little macaroons and it kind of looks like, okay, like what cute packaging, it's gonna be crappy makeup. And I was opening these up and they were like six bucks US and swatching them, I was just like, wait, hold up. Like what, excuse me, like how are these so shiny and gorgeous and beautiful? I cannot get over it. Ooh, that's so pretty. So that one right there is called Mojo Earl Grey. The first one was Passion Fruit. I also have the shade Chestnut. Oh my gosh, right? Like stop it. Is that not so beautiful and smooth and rich and even? I am going to need some level of depth to my eyes. So I'm going to reach for my Anastasia Norvina palette. You guys know this is my favorite Anastasia palette that has ever come out. So I'm gonna take the shade Incense and just frame my crease slightly. We're not doing a lot here because I just kind of want to create a little bit of a shadow so that I can go in with some of those shinier shades. I am going to take the shade Passion right on the end there and I'm just going to pop that on the very, 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 very outer. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Mojo Earl Grey. I'm just going to use my fingertip and I'm going to stamp this on the lid. And for me, this could be enough. Like this would make me feel comfortable and good and I could be out the door. I do kind of want to show off a few more of these products. So I am going to take this brighter shade right here called Chestnut. I'm going to take an itty bitty brush from Morphe. This is an E36. We are going to highlight that inner corner. Oh, you guys, I should have gotten more of these. I regret not getting more because these are so freaking gorgeous. This is a pressed pigment, but I don't think I've ever seen anything with quite this much dimension or shine in my life. Like it truly is a very special shadow. I hope that you guys can see that. I'm gonna do a closer look of course, but this is just literally, like it just finishes off any look and adds an element of glamour and that kind of sequin vibe to whatever you are working with. You don't even need a glitter glue. It does not fluff everywhere if you just press it in with your finger. And I'm gonna do that just in the center of my lid. You can see, look at what that just did. It just add, added this like wet kind of an effect to the eye. I am going to add a little mascara to my lower lashes and we're gonna use a Maybelline one that looked really, really interesting. This is the Dream Lash Film Base. I don't know, it looks kind of crazy. I think it might be really, really good though. I have lash extensions. I don't think I'm fooling anybody. I think you guys totally already noticed. What do we think? I kind of love them. I thought it would be something that I would just maintain, um, not even maintain. I thought it would be something that I would just get for a vacation because I really had no intentions of doing my makeup while I was on my trip, which I really didn't. But wait, that's, what is this? Film base. Oh, this is just a primer. That's okay. Well, I have a 
another one right here too. Anyway, I love them so much. I'm thinking of keeping them. They did not get in the way as much as I thought they would. I thought I would actually kind of hate them and it turns out I love them. It actually makes me want to wear less makeup. What do you guys think? Have you tried lash extensions? Yes, no. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Leave your thoughts below. And I have to give a shout out to the Blink Bar. That's where I went. I just walked on in. I didn't even have an appointment and they were great. They were super professional and clean. My sister got hers done too and she really loved it. And before she went home, she like looked at me and she's like, do you think we could stop in and get a fill? And I'm like, a fill for what, our nails? And she's like, no, my lashes. And she's like, I don't know how I'm gonna go home to Seattle. I don't know where I'm gonna go. So also, if you know of a good place in Seattle that my sister should go to, leave that in the comments too because she's now hooked. She just like loved it so much. It was kind of like a fun sister outing too. It was so nice to spend time with her and just kind of do like our girl things and hang out. Dude, all this makeup is so good. I'm kind of blown away that there really wasn't one thing that I put on my face that I was like, ew, this is not really working. It's kind of ruining my look for the day because everything turned out pretty a-okay. Yay, Thailand, like you killed it with everything that you are selling over there. I love it all. I still have more in front of me that I want to put to the test. So maybe I'll do a part two or try it out over on Snapchat or Instagram or something like that. Um, you can follow me there. I'll leave that in the description box. I always do. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I am here Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST, always bringing you new makeup, makeup reviews, unboxings, you name it, we do it here. Um, and I hope you come and hang out again, all right? I love you guys so much. Have a good one, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.